One of my favorite mid-game quests in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is the Trial of Sunry, which takes place on the Silly Billy planet of Manan. It's this big ocean city planet, so you'll need to go to the navigation. Yeah, just turn. Okay. I picked the blue one. The blue one. Pick the blue plant. Whoa, whoa, spoilers for a 20 year old game. Anyway, while well, these two ladies are kissing each other, I'll catch you up on the basic plot. You play as one of two surviving amnesiacs from USG Ishimura after it gets attacked by goth sci fi kids. You spend the game gathering companions and looking for things called Star Maps, which will lead you to the big bad evil guy's secret fortress where he's making his big fuck off star laser. Many of the plot points in this game are just named Star Blank. Here we are at Manan. bringing Grandpa Joe Lee with us because he was getting a little cranky on the ship. So we're going to take a little walk around, make sure... Jody, is this you? I... I need your help. Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd let Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunry. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Hi, Whatever nice to meet you. I... It's horrible, Joey. ...being ignored. Sunry has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Joey. Sunry isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. Where's Sunry now? Sunry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Elora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry, somehow. Sunry, Jolie's old friend, is being cancelled by the Woke Brigade for murdering a woman. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is head to the Manon Court of Law and just announce that we're representing Sunry. I, I mean, it's good enough for Phoenix, right? So it's good enough for me. We're lawyers now. Alright, I really enjoy that there's multiple languages in the game, but you're not getting anything from this, so I I'm just gonna explain what our fishy friend's telling you here. First off, Sunry, a Republic war hero, was seen leaving a hotel. In the room he was staying in, he left behind a dead Sith woman. It's Star Wars. There's a big war between the Sith and the Republic. Citizens from each group hate each other. It's Star Wars. He was immediately charged with murder and is being kept in solitary confinement due to his crippled status. All of the witnesses have been detained in the hotel it took place in, and the manager of the building has been informed of our arrival. In addition, the murdered woman was clutching a Republic War Medal that belongs to Sunry. There's about 8,000 pieces of evidence against Sunry, which makes the whole thing suspicious to an outsider. No murderer would make this many mistakes in trying to cover up a crime. So, as a first order of business, we're getting drunk into bar! Woo! Anyway, I'm gonna keep ordering these fucked up blue shots. Uh, you look around for clues. I prefer to make my credits gambling, but I never turn my back on an opportunity. Maybe this can be a profitable exchange for both of us. Ask this guy about the murder. What do you expect when a Sith spy and a Republic war hero are having an affair? Anyone could see it would end ugly. I was having an affair? <laughs> oh, oh, so you didn't know about Sunry stepping out and his wife. Well, it may have been a secret to some, but I'm not blind. I should have charged you for that juicy tidbit. 
Now, I figured anyone investigating the murder would have already figured that out by now. Okay, you got a freebie out of me. But that's all I know about, uh, Sunri and his hot Sith side dish. You done wasting my time now, or you got some more questions? I'm not paying this guy shit. We're gonna go to Alora, talk to her about the affair. I'm sure it'll be calm and normal. Yes. Yes, he was having an affair. He was seeing that... That Ooh. fifth woman. After all these years oh. we've been together, he just... He just dropped me like that. It's not publicly, I don't know. But inside, that's what it feels like. Uh, so, Sunri having an affair adds context to why he was around this Sith woman in the first place. Uh, apparently he was heading there to break this engagement off, and that makes it very odd that this would devolve into a struggle. We have to head to the hotel to interrogate the witnesses, so I'll explain why it's odd on the way. The main plot line of Manon is the conflict between the Sith and the Republic in the city. Manon has been trying to remain neutral on the war between the two to avoid being conquered by either side. Manon is the sole place Kolto exists and can be harvested. Kolto is the main ingredient in the med packs you've been using for the entire game. If a side were to lose access to this, it would spell catastrophe for the war effort. Manon even threatened to blow up all of the Kolto sites on the planet if they were to be invaded. So why would a Sith citizen risk their entire nation's future just because an old man broke up with them? Causing trouble in Manon would only lead to heavy sanctions on their home's Kolto purchases. It just doesn't make sense socially or politically, and that's why we're at the hotel to interrogate everyone. Starting with you. Tell us what you saw. It would take way more than 10 minutes to go over everything we've learned, so I'll condense it for you. We bribed the manager of the hotel to say he saw Sunny leave the room before a blaster shot was heard. He doesn't clearly remember anyway, and it's not like we're playing the perfect hero here. The next two witnesses, however, are much more interesting. Feareth Me reveals that the Sith woman Sunri was seeing is actually a dark Jedi, as he saw her carrying a lightsaber the night of the murder. The next witness, Glupor, actually admits to planting the Republic cross on her body. If this evidence was fabricated, it's safe to assume that more of the case is fraudulent. With just a little bit of digging, we've discovered a lot of evidence that proves our boy Sunri innocent. All we have to do now is prove it in court. <laughs> Okay, the trial plays out like a huge speech challenge. You have to figure out what points to bring up to increase your evidence points with the most amount of judges. The prosecution gets to say stuff too, lowering your evidence points, but as long as you focus on inconsistencies with the witnesses rather than incredulous things like the Sith and the Republic hate each other, they wouldn't date, uh, or Sunri is old man, how can he kill woman? He ugly! It's not that difficult if you've been paying attention. Oh, Sunry, I'm so glad. Elora, we have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Well, looks like justice is wrong. I may have forgotten to mention a little tidbit. A mysterious man approached us after we left the hotel and said, This case is not at all what it appears to be. And that we should investigate both the Sith and Republic embassies. So, let's break into some government buildings. We send our high-tech robot dog, T3, in there to chew through some wires and narrowly avoid an international incident, which nets us a recording of the room Sunry was staying in. We watch him clearly close the door, pull out a blaster, and kill the woman in cold blood. Sunri? They have a recording of you doing it. So the truth is that I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. The 
Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. And so they planted their own evidence. Alasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith masters like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? That's different, Sunri, and you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malak's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. This conclusion is why the Trial of Sunri is my favorite quest on Minot. It dives right into the morality of Jedi good, Sith bad, because it's much more complicated than that. Jedi only pursue the right thing, which can end up being worse for everyone in the long run. The Sith solely pursue power, but being strong allows you to protect those you care about. I'm not a grey Jedi truther or anything, but I think this quest is a good argument for a more varied alignment system in Star Wars. But the only thing left to do now is to turn in the evidence and get Sun recharged. <laughs> I... I'm sorry, Sunri. And Alora. There's nothing more we can do. Oh, Sunri. No! Oh, rough day for Jolie. But hey, we get paid now. Let me just... We only get a reward if Jolie is proven innocent? We took on the case as a public defender. Fuck! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.